Wendigo is a mythological creature or evil spirit originating from the folklore of Plains and Great Lakes natives as well as some First Nations. It is based in and around the East Coast forests of Canada, the Great Plains region of the United States, and the Great Lakes region of the United States and Canada. The Wendigo is often said to be a malevolent spirit, sometimes depicted as a creature with human-like characteristics, which possesses human beings. The Wendigo is said to invoke feelings of insatiable greed or hunger, the desire to cannibalize other humans, and the propensity to commit murder in those that fall under its influence. The Wendigo is described as a giant humanoid with a heart of ice. A foul stench or sudden, unseasonable chill might precede its approach. The Wendigo was gone to the point of emaciation, its desiccated skin pulled tightly over its bones. With its bones pushing out against its skin, its complexion the ash gray of death, and its eyes pushed back deep into their sockets, the Wendigo looked like a gaunt skeleton recently disinterred from the grave. What lips it had were tattered and bloody, and clean and suffering from separation of the flesh, the Wendigo gave off a strange and eerie odor of decay and decomposition, of death and corruption. Wendigos are often described as giants that are many times larger than human beings, a characteristic absent from myths in other Algonquian cultures. Whenever a Wendigo ate another person, it would grow in proportion to the meal it had just eaten, so it could never be full. Therefore, Wendigos are portrayed as simultaneously gluttonous and extremely thin due to starvation. The Wendigo is seen as the embodiment of gluttony, greed, and excess. Never satisfied after killing and consuming one person, they are constantly searching for new victims. One time long ago a big Wendigo stole an Indian boy, but the boy was too thin, so the Wendigo didn't eat him up right away. But he traveled with the Indian boy waiting for him till he'd get fat. The Wendigo had a knife and he'd cut the boy on the hand to see if he was fat enough to eat, but the boy didn't get fat. They traveled too much. One day, they came to an Indian village and the Wendigo sent the boy to the Indian village to get some things for him to eat. He just gave the boy so much time to go there and back. The boy told the Indians that the Wendigo was near them and showed them his hand, where the Wendigo cut him to see if he was fat enough to eat. They heard the Wendigo calling the boy. He said to the boy, hurry up. Don't tell lies to those Indians. All of these Indians went to where the Wendigo was and cut off his legs. They went back again to see if he was dead. He wasn't dead. He was eating the juice from the inside of the bones of his legs that were cut off. The Indians asked the Wendigo if there was any fat on them. He said, You bet there is. I have eaten lots of Indians. No wonder they are fat. The Indians then killed him and cut him to pieces. This was the end of this giant Wendigo. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.